Hi everyone, this is Seize. In this video, I am going to be going to a store named Charming Charlie. It's very luxurious. When I walked through this store, I felt like I was walking through a store designed by Brie from Desperate Housewives. This store definitely gave me that feeling like I was in some kind of enchanted awesomeness full of gorgeous stuff that I don't need. So it's full of bracelets and rings, uh, you know, purses, like anything you can think of, any accessory that you can think of, they probably have it here. And they have everything color-coded. I have never been into one of these stores, so I'm, I was very, what's that word I'm looking for? I was very impressed by all of the different colors and choices that they had to pick from. They had pink everything, pink necklaces, earrings, rings, purses, belts, anything you can think of in every different color. They had every, every table was color coded. So I definitely loved it. I immediately went to the pink table and I saw a lot of cute, gorgeous stuff that I would typically buy if I didn't already have a bunch of it. And so one of the things I was going to buy was a pink purse just to match my pink nails. I don't have any pink purses that I can think of. And I wasn't really impressed with their options, uh, their purses, their selection on purses. I wasn't impressed. And the only reason I say that is because when I go looking for a purse, I don't want to buy something that is leather. I don't support the leather industry and a lot of the stuff there was it it looked questionable and I was I wasn't really wanting to spend time trying to figure out if it's leather or not and I just I just saw what their options were and I didn't really bother to really investigate so I just left it at that but they did have cute purses and their styles were adorable, really cute styles. So I like that a lot about this store. Nicely lit, and the ladies working there were very kind in the way that they didn't bother me. Usually when I go in a store, people, they see that I'm, you know, doing my video thing, and they still bother me by saying, hello, do you need any help? And I know that's their job, and... They're really good at their job. At this store, they did not do that. They they saw that I was holding my phone and doing my thing, and they walked, turned around, and, you know, went the other way. So I thought that was nice. I appreciate that. I have never been to one of these stores, so if any of you have been into one of these and actually bought something and you have some experience you'd like to share maybe whatever you bought was either amazing and it lasted forever or the opposite please let us know so we can all learn from this i haven't bought anything from there but um you know if their quality is just superb and their prices are outstanding then i might want to go back in there and try to find something that I don't need and just buy it and take a nice cute picture with it and then save it until I'm tired of it and then do a giveaway. A lot of my stuff, oh my goodness, I just have so much, so many things that I don't, I don't really use. It's ridiculous. I did good, though, getting rid of some purses, like little clutches, and that little card from for Dave and Buster's. I was never going to use that card. Oh my gosh, I think I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I sent that card, I also found these little Dave and Buster's little, like, you know when you go to Dave and Buster's, they give you those little tickets? So I found a, a bucket full of those tickets, and I sent those along with that card. I thought it was cute. 
Look at these watches. They're super adorable. That's really funny that I show those watches because lately I've been buying my kids watches. They keep wanting a watch even after they already have one and I don't learn from my mistakes so I buy them another watch and before I know it I have like 15 watches in different spots in my house and right now I'm wearing one of their watches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on strike and never buy them a watch and I'm going to like wear all of the watches that I've ever bought them. I'm going to put them all on my right arm. And the next time when we go to a store, people are going to ask me, why do you have all those watches on your hand? I'm going to tell them my long story, my long sad story on how I have these many watches. It's ridiculous. Whoever designed this place is just awesome. Very well lit, nice windows everywhere, spacious. It's not all cluttered. I don't want to say some stores are cluttered, but if you can just imagine one of your stores that you've been recently, you can hardly even walk because there's just so many things everywhere and you're bumping into stuff. Your purse is so huge, it's like bumping into things. Okay, I hate those stores. I hate it when you can't walk with your huge... 50 pound purse and you can't walk you know comfortably you're bumping into things that's bad juju and it does not make me want to go back into that store this store is spacious like target you go to target you can do cartwheels and run around i mean i'm not saying i'm gonna run around but you know what i mean it's spacious this is like target it's pretty spacious and it's very well lit nice and clean Nice atmosphere. Definitely makes me want to go back in there. Oh, these are cute. I like rocks. They're very earthy, right? Like calming. You know what I wish more stores had? Is a display showing different colors of really cheap, inexpensive, bit gorgeous styluses. I don't know how many times I go into a store looking for a stylus and they don't have one. On my next part, for the rest of this video, I am at Sears and I just went in there because I, I walked by and I noticed their display by the front of the store. It had a bunch of gorgeous pink stuff. So I thought I'd go in there real quick and take a really quick video of whatever pink stuff I could find and just kind of show my nails with it. I thought it I thought it looked really pretty. They they did a really good job with the display there. So that's what I'm doing here. Nothing nothing too fancy, showing my nails. And I I think I'm going to go back to a a different mall later and try to find more stuff. I'm really not sure what what polish I'm going to do my nails next, but whatever it is, I'll try to make it cute and hopefully whenever I go out, I'll find something that matches it for our next video. So this is it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed listening to the commentary. I hope this video was entertaining to some of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll post again soon. Bye!